Hello, everybody. My name is Dean Davis, and this is a word of encouragement for village church planters. Jesus commanded us to participate in the Lord's Supper. On the night he was betrayed to be crucified, Jesus ate a meal with his disciples. During that meal, as he distributed the wine and gave out the bread, Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Just like each of the other basic commands of Jesus, this one is not optional. Jesus has instructed us that we should participate in the Lord's Supper. But what does this mean? And who specifically should participate? These questions troubled the church members of the first church that I planted in South America. The questions trouble believers all over the world, especially in newly planted churches. We all know that participation in the Lord's Supper is sacred and special, so we're very wary of making mistakes. That is fine, but we must be more concerned about obeying Jesus than we are about making mistakes. Churches that regularly celebrate the Lord's Supper receive the Lord's blessing for their obedience. A church that neglects this commandment lacks discipline. It is disobedient and does not glorify the Lord Jesus. It will have problems. So we should participate in the Lord's Supper, but who exactly should participate? All followers of Jesus who have repented from their sin and have put their trust in him to forgive them and give them a new life. All those believers should participate in the Lord's Supper. When we participate in the Lord's Supper, we renew our faith and our commitment to the Lord Jesus. When we participate in the Lord's Supper, we remember the covenant we have entered into with Christ. We remember how he shed his blood to save us and how he rose from the dead to give us eternal life. We remember that the forgiveness of our sins cost Jesus his very life. What is the result of all this? Believers who participate in the Lord's Supper gain humility and gratitude. Their faith is strengthened. Believers who participate in the Lord's Supper experience a renewed desire to serve Christ. They find new strength to love. They gain a sense of hope that we can overcome by the blood of the Lamb. So when you and your congregation participate in the Lord's Supper, tell the story of Jesus well. Point out that the red juice reminds us of the blood that Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary. Point out that the bread reminds us of the body of Christ. Tell the story of Jesus well. Then let the juice and the bread express the story of Jesus as his followers participate in the supper by eating and drinking together. Your church, no matter how small, will be strengthened by participating in the Lord's Supper. This has been a word of encouragement for village church planters.